Hello guys, welcome back to another Blender tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this uh, guy here, a guy with an armature using the rigify so yeah so it, he moves around and everything Let's see okay so uh you can move him around you can feel his fingers and everything yeah so uh first thing you want to do is open up a new file there just click here new file the load start file okay now after you've done that you go into autodesk here if you've never seen this before it is uh, a sorry. okay it's just one of autodesk's uh software things and it's used for creating models and stuff like that so first thing when you start it up you'll see a human body just click on that and after you have done that <coughs> sorry uh you go onto the mesh and right click and click select model go to file export selection save it somewhere i already saved it in this case but yeah you can save it somewhere so and then you go into blender and then you click file and then you just go down to import and click on wavefront obj so after you've done that, you go into wherever you save that on. Okay, I need to look for where I saved it. I'm not sure. Oh, that's not it. Uh, mm, okay, right there. Human. And that's it. Okay, you just click on that and then port OBJ. And yeah, something I forgot to tell you was after uh, once you are uh, exporting it, you click a save file type as. Uh, you click on that and then click on object files dot obj because that's what blender works with okay so now you can just scale this down to about there delete the screen scale it a little more down and uh, yeah so now you can just click smooth shading here and now what you want to do is click control alt u to open up the user preferences Want to type in rectify and then just check there. And uh, so you just click save user settings. And now, what uh, when you click shift A, you click on armature and then human meta rig. And then you can just scale that up and then go to edit mode and just uh, match this whole thing up with the mesh so i'm just gonna do that here and i also want this side to copy this side so i'll go into options and i click x axis mirror and i'm just click t and now when i move this side the other side moves too so uh i'm just gonna pause it here until i am done matching this up as after you have done that now uh i'm done on matching it up and stuff so now you can just go down here and into rigify buttons you just click generate and uh let's see let's try that again i'm not sure it's not uh a second now hmm Second now should come in just a little bit here. You just gotta wait. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Take a long time here. Uh, Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it for a second until it comes. Okay, guys, after you've done that, you just click on the. Uh, sorry. Let's see. You click on the thing. Uh, let's just click on the armature first here. Just click on 
Okay, then you click M and then move that to a separate layer. And now you just click this and then click that and then click Control P for the automatic weight. And okay, so now it's all done there. So now if I move this thing, the other thing moves too. So uh and if something like this happens to you, so let's say I'm just going to use preferences and uh disable that. Okay, let's say I am just going to control C right now. If something like this happens to you, so after you've parented it, you uh all you have to do is click control Z. Or no, let's not click that. You click Control Z and then go into back to user preferences. You go into file, you click on auto run Python script, and then just click save user settings and let you see. Now, now uh, I'll click, uh, now you can click this and then that and then click Control P with automatic weights. And, uh, Okay, so now this thing moves with that. Now, yeah, that's all you do. And now, yeah, let's say I select this thing, the this thing here. So the the arm that moves here. So let's say this is set all down. This should be, or this might be set all down for you. But uh, so now, if I select that and click G. <coughs> It doesn't move, so all you want to do is click N, and then uh, it's called the IK hand, hand IK. You just set it to one thousand, one point zero zero zero. Yeah, and yeah, that's all you do now. And then you do the same for the other side. Let's see, you do the same. Yep, it's done there. And then you click. Just go into third view. Okay, then you click on this here. And this one, yeah. You click G and uh, you click N and do the same thing for that and do the same for, the, for that thing too. And that should be done. Now, if you move this, then the leg moves. And if you move the head, let's try moving the collar bones. I never tried it before. Hmm. Yeah, it moves the hand. Um, the shoulders for yeah. and yeah, uh, let's, let's see. You can also scale this up. You can also scale the head up and every part of the body. Okay, yeah. So let's scale this up. Scale some muscle and stuff. Let's scale up. And uh, you can also move fingers. You can also put G to press them, move them around like that. Yeah. And yes, that's uh, basically it. That's all you do. And uh, yeah. In the next episode, we're gonna be like animating this character, making some walk cycles, maybe, and stuff. Just animating him. So, until then, thank you for watching and have a great day.